Hello, hello, hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? I know it's been a while since I have been live. It's been almost two weeks because last Wednesday I did not go live. So today I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to go on even though I'm still not feeling very well. <clears throat> still have a cold, still feeling crappy. My whole body's like all shaky, going through quite a few changes and things that I've been learning myself. Uh, so I'm tired. Not gonna lie, and you guys can probably tell as well. I'm just gonna move this camera a little bit <clears throat> and get comfortable. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta get comfortable wherever you are. And right now, if you are feeling overwhelmed, you are not alone. I promise you that you are not alone. There's so many people every single day that are going through that feeling, right? Uh, when you just you just want to give up, you just want to quit and everything hurts and you can't, you, you can't focus, you can't move forward, you don't know what to do, you feel lost and you don't know why you're feeling that way and you're like, what the heck, right? Um, hey Mike, thanks for hopping on. So if you're there or have been there or will be there, this will be very helpful for you. Um, I promise you that. There's a few things that I have added to this list. So there's not actually 17. There's a, <laughs> there's a little bit more. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Thank you, beautiful. Oh, thank you. You probably like my shiny ears. Um, and actually, uh, hey, Kat. Hey, sister. How are you doing? Um, what I was going to do to start this video, and I thought, because somebody pointed it out to me. And I thought, oh my God, this is awesome. I had no idea. So watch this, okay? So I'm gonna move my camera this way, okay? And then I'll sit up and I go like this. Oh. <laughs> Somebody told me that this mirror looks like a halo on my head. Uh, Cause I was doing a video chat with somebody and they're like, did you do that on purpose? Cause it looks like a halo behind your head. I'm like, no, no, I didn't. It was just, it's always been there. Um, so anyways, I thought, it, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was awesome. Anyways, as you guys are hopping on, let me know where you're coming in from. And if you're watching me live or on replay, I'd love to know, okay? I'd love to know how far you guys are away from me or how close you are to me. So maybe one day we can meet, who knows, right? Okay, I am from Georgia, Ontario, and you guys can see my name. If you don't know how to pronounce it, I will help you out. It's Yana Kasprzak because most people can't pronounce the last name. You can't know how to pronounce the last name. Uh, Beyonce wear a headpiece just like that? <laughs> I believe that. I do. If I was Beyonce, I would definitely wear a piece like that. It must have really hurt her neck though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Snow Madigen. That's an interesting name. What the heck is a Snow Madigen? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are. And very not there. Uh, okay, so let's get into that. Into this. So if you're feeling swamp, feeling stressed, you're feeling tired, you're feeling down, you're feeling crappy, and you're just, we all get overwhelmed. We all get overwhelmed. And if you if you are young enough to not have experienced that feeling of overwhelm, you will one day. We all get there, we all go through it. So the trick is to find a way that works for you to reset yourself quickly, as quickly as possible, okay? And this is where all of these uh, 17 things that will help you, uh, for you it might be one of those, For maybe you have to do two or three, you have to try something, but whatever works for you, use it, okay? Use it, and maybe after a while it'll stop working for you, then you try something else, you try something else, you try something else. Okay, so the first thing um, is you need to take an emotional time out. What does that mean? That means you go and you read a book. A book that has nothing to do with work. Because chances are it's your job that's overwhelming you. So you go and you read a book that has nothing to do with that. Or you go and you watch a movie. The whole point of, you, of that is for you to take an hour to two hours a day to do something away from whatever it is, whatever is overwhelming you, whatever is stressing you out. Okay, so that's the point of it. Um, second thing is exercise. 
which is no brainer, right? Exercise, because exercise helps you in so many different levels and helps you with so many different things. It's not just good for your body. It's actually good for your mind and for your soul and for your spirit. It's good for so many things. Uh, exercise just if you want to know the benefits of exercise, Google it. I'm pretty sure you already know just how awesome exercise is. So exercise, um, preferably midday. So that way you can, hey Mandy, thanks for hopping on mama, how are you? Um, so preferably midday. The reason being is because when you are working, you want to have some kind of a separation between the morning and the afternoon. So that way in the morning you might feel crappy and you need something to help you get through the rest of the day. So this is where exercise midday will be very, very helpful. It could be the gym, it could be a jog, it could be um, a, a walk, it could be um, swimming, biking, whatever it is that you're able to do. Now, not everyone has the ability to leave work midday or in the middle of the day go for lunch because lunch is usually not that long um mind you you don't really need that long right to kind of recenter yourself refocus and get everything up in here organized in a way or distracted for long enough time for you to actually process what is going on right so if you're not able to do the exercise this is where take a physical timeout which is the third one will come into play so that basically means just go for a walk physically and emotionally separate yourself from your worries that's what it is um, if you're not able to leave the building go walk in the building wherever you are working fresh air is obviously better and if you're able to go into the woods safe woods then go for a walk there uh, another one number four this one you guys i'm pretty sure you know and it works like magic it's called deep breathing okay now there's a lot a lot of deep breathing exercises and deep breathing techniques that you can do i will tell you one right now the one that has helped me many many times and those that are around me as well so this is what you basically do. Um, and it's short and sweet, right? You can do it anywhere, anytime, and nobody even needs to know you're doing it. So this one works great. So what you do is you count to six as you're breathing in, okay? And then you hold the breath for four, count to four, and then as you're breathing out, you count to six again. So it's like this, go. There. And you do that six to seven times and you will feel a big difference, a big relief. You will feel lighter, okay? So do that breathing technique. Number five, be mindfully thankful. In other words, gratitude, okay? Gratitude, be grateful that you are alive. Be grateful that you have food. Be grateful that you have clothes. Be grateful that you are able to breathe clean, fresh air-ish. Um, that you have a roof over your head. That you have a jacket. That you have shoes. That you have kids. That you have loved ones. That you um, have things in the house that is not empty. That you actually have a house, right? There's so many things that you can be grateful for. And this is a practice that will help you every single day. Starting your day being grateful for the things that you have is going to help you start the day on the right note. Now, it doesn't have to be a huge thing. It doesn't have to be a really big list. It could be one, two, three things. Just whatever you're able to be grateful for is going to help you tremendously. I guarantee you guys. Okay? Um, just reflect on everything that you already have. So number six, whatever is your practice, whether you pray or you meditate or both, you can do that. And again, that does not take very long. It's another form of gratitude, guys. That's what it is, right? Uh, praying is another form of gratitude. Uh, meditating is the same thing. The whole point of you is to put your mind elsewhere. Not on the things that are overwhelming you because when you focus on those things, you're just going to increase the overwhelm 
10 times fold. So you need to take your mind away from it, distract it. So then you can pray if that's what you do, or you can meditate if that's what you do. If you don't know how to meditate and you want to look into it, you can shoot me a message and I can help you out because this is something that I have started doing myself and the benefits, I'm not even gonna go there. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, so. <laughs> This actually helps me when I feel like I have to sneeze and I just cover the nose, the nostril that um, I feel like the sneeze is going to come from. So that way it kind of disappears. Uh, I don't want you guys to see all the boogers flying out. Mind you, there's no boogers. Okay, so pray and meditate, uh, whatever is your practice. There's a window outside, so there's things flying by the window. Number seven, call a friend. Okay, so this is a really great way to also get distracted because you all have friends, okay? Um, maybe not friends, maybe you have family members that you're close with. So you all have someone that you can talk to about things aside from the things that are overwhelming you. So this is a great way for you to reach out and get distracted and have a conversation conversation outside of your worries, right? Uh, number eight, this one is some people's favorite one. It's called procrastinate okay so you can procrastinate uh, it's almost impossible to continuously force yourself to get things done uh, motivation is garbage you can't motivate yourself to do things you actually have to feel good and excited and naturally motivate you can't force motivation you can't um, it's very difficult um, I've tried it many times and it has never worked and I know I'm not the only one. There's many people that have tried to force motivation and it just does not work. So you can procrastinate by your subconscious is awesome. Okay, so what happens is when you procrastinate doing something, it actually, your subconscious, will help you solve your problems. It will give you answers. And if you ignore it for long enough, you will get answers for those things that are overwhelming you and the things that are stressing you out. So um, long-term procrastination can actually help you as well, which will bring me to the number 16 point, but I'll get to that. Okay, number nine, you can delegate. Get somebody else to do some things for you and to help you out. So you don't have to do everything on your own. You can delegate. Even if you're not the boss, you can delegate. You can ask your coworkers. You can ask your peers. You can ask someone to help you with whatever it is that you need help with. So you're not doing every single thing on your own. Because trust me, I know just how overwhelming it is when you are trying to accomplish something and you are doing it on your own, alone. Because if you're like me and you're a perfectionist and you know that the only way to get things done the way you want them done is to do it yourself, you're going to overwhelm yourself. You can get other people to help you to do things the way you want them done as well. Right? You just need to know how to ask and also return that favor because you can't expect to... Uh, to get help and you never help them in return, okay? It's a two-way street. Everything in life is a two-way street. You cannot be a taker and you cannot continuously be a giver because when you are a giver, you will find yourself overwhelmed and drained. And I know that from personal experience because I'm a huge giver. Anyone that knows me knows all I do is give, 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 and I don't ask for anything in return. Maybe just a thank you, okay? So if you are a giver, you need to learn how to take help and accept help as well. Okay, you guys see there's a, a little helper right here sitting, helping me. And now we're purring. Ah. Okay, so that was number nine. Uh, you don't have to do it all alone. Simply just ask your peers, okay? And as you guys are hopping on, also for those replay watchers, if you're watching me on replay, you can go ahead and comment as we go as well as if you were watching me live. I love that. Um, I know a few people already do that, but many people are actually not aware that they're able to do that, that they think that if it's live, that's the only time you comment and respond. No, the same thing as you're going through 
when you are watching on replay. I think I said repeat watcher instead of replay. Okay, anyways, uh, my my mind is not still still not all there. I'm sick and I am also overwhelmed. And this is why we are doing these things because these things have helped me and are helping me. So I know they're gonna help you. Number 10, this is a good one as well. Talk things over with your partner, with your significant other, okay? Um, you might be surprised of what insights they might give you. You might be surprised of how they can help you, what they can do for you. They might be more knowledgeable than you in that particular scenario or that moment in time, okay? So talk to your significant other. At the end of the day, this is some relationship advice as well for you guys. If anyone is struggling in their relationship or, okay. If you keep things to yourself and you are struggling on your own, your spouse is not aware of what is going on. How are they going to be able to help you if you are not being verbal, if you're not expressing yourself? At the end of the day, you are in a partnership, right? You are in a relationship. A partnership is something that you guys do together. Okay, you are on your journey together to grow up and mature together. You are sharing and teaching each other what you are going through as you're going through it. If you are struggling, you just simply need to ask and reach your hand. And their job is to take your hand and help you through the process. Okay, that is a partnership. That is what a marriage is. It's a two-way street. You help them, they help you. Okay? You doing it alone is not going to benefit either one of you. Okay? You pretending to be strong and independent is not going to make your relationship stronger. It's not. I promise you, it's not. Okay, you showing your weaknesses, your vulnerabilities that you're keeping away from your spouse. I know many of you do, is only going to show you and you will be seen as a stronger person in their eyes because they will see what you're struggling, what you're going through. They will also see how you overcome these things and who you become after that struggle. I speak from personal experience as well, okay? Um, so share your journey and you don't even know that you might be helping them on their silent journey as well. So now back to the overwhelming steps for you guys. We were on partners, so number 10. Number 11, okay, write it down. Write stuff down. Hey, Esther, how are you doing? Beautiful. And thanks for waking up me. Um, write stuff down. Very often what happens is when you write things down, it helps you put things in perspective. It helps you see things in a different way. It often uh, seems that the things that you are struggling with, quite often they seem unmanageable. And when you write it down, they all of a sudden seem manageable, right? I'm. Have you ever been through that where you just... You're so overwhelmed and you don't know why and you just write it down and then all of a sudden, like, oh, that's not so bad. I got this shit. <laughs> Hopefully there's no kids watching. Um, have you ever been through that? Yes or no? I, I know I have and I know, again, from experience, writing it down just puts things in perspective. And all of a sudden, I got this. That's nothing, right? Okay, number 12, take a nap. Take a nap. At work, I used to take naps as well. On your lunchtime, it's your time. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. If you feel like taking a nap, then take a little cat nap. Because haven't you heard this? Everything looks better in the morning. Well, the same thing for a cat nap. Everything is better after a cat nap. It feels better. You feel more rested, more relaxed. Maybe that's what you need. So go take a nap if that's what you need, okay? Um, 
anyone that worked with me knows that I used to take nap naps once in a while because you just need to and you listen to your body your body will tell you what you need because if you are feeling like really jittery and shaky and there's no way you can take a nap then what you need to do is go for a walk or jumping jacks right go for a run exercise maybe you need to do push-ups maybe you need to do planks maybe you need to do a little salsa in a plank position <laughs> whatever works for you listen to your body Listen to your intuition. It's going to tell you what you need to do. Okay? So number 13, map your progress. A lot of people don't do that, but um, here's the best way of uh, mapping your progress. You know, to-do lists, right? We all have to-do lists and we all get overwhelmed by our to-do lists. Here's a little bit of a different approach on your to-do list, okay? Make a to-do list of the things that you have already accomplished, of the things that you have already done. So that way you can cross them off and feel good about yourself. There you go, so do that. Number 14, drink water, okay? Water is good for you, not booze, drink water. Remember, your body's made out of what? 80% of water, well, so is the planet. The planet is 80% water. Water is everywhere. And this is how the vibrations are moved across through water. So if you want to increase your vibration or elevate yourself, you need to drink more water. That's that. Just drink more water and you will feel better. Um, what did it say in here? There's actually studies that have proven that your water intake, if you increase water, it increases your mood as well. I didn't know that, but apparently there is a study that has been done. So number 15, turn stuff down. In other words, learn to say no. Again, you don't want to be saying no to everything and anything because then you will be known as, you'll be labeled as a flake or as someone who doesn't show up, someone who doesn't do things. So learn to say no. Okay, so by saying no, you will also learn to be true to yourself and to not fold to other people's expectations. Okay, uh, number 16, accomplish something different. When we were talking about procrastination, okay, so for example, you made a to do list and you don't, you know, this task is pressing, but it can wait a little bit. And instead of doing that task, you can go and do another task. So you procrastinate and you accomplish something else and you feel good about accomplishing it. So that way you can also go back and get the important things done uh, and feel good about that as well. So finishing a different task on your to do list. Number 17 clean up or tidy up because you know um if you know anything about feng shui okay really simple feng shui is basically the way the your area set up the flow of energies and your area that you are in so when you have a cluttered desk when you have a cluttered office when you have a cluttered basement when you have a cluttered house your mind is cluttered as well so if you want to feel uncluttered or less overwhelmed, declutter your area, okay? Maybe there's an area in your home that is affecting you and is bothering you. Hey, Ta, thanks for hopping on. Um, go and declutter it. Go and declutter the area because when you start to declutter it, you will notice yourself. Oh, thank you. Come to the dark side. <laughs> Even though there's no darkness in here, just the shirt. So you will notice, you might have done this already, where you had, let's say, your closet. Your closet was cluttered and had so much stuff in there. And you just, you just felt great. And you went and you dealt with your closet. After or while you were doing your closet, while you were fixing your closet, you started to feel good. And you started to feel like you are in your element. That is the point as well. So clean up, um, tidy up, clean up in your house, the area, whatever it is that you need to do. It's therapy, actually. It's therapeutic. There's a reason for, um, there's a reason why so many people 
treated like a ritual in a way where once a week, certain time of the week, you are cleaning the whole house. Mine is Fridays. And Fridays when I, I don't always want to clean, but once I start cleaning it, I get in the mood and I get in the zone. My, my brain starts flowing. I get ideas, I get things and I get centered. So maybe that's what you need to do as well or could do as well, right? Uh, now, these are the bonuses that, because I already told you all 17, but these are the bonuses really quickly. I'll go over them. It's again, uh, common sense, but it's not common practice because a lot of us forget about these things that are also very, very important. Um, number one of my own suggestions, sleep. Make sure you get proper rest. Now, when I say proper rest, it means you go to bed at pretty much the same time and you wake up at the same time every single day. And you as an adult, you need seven and a half hours of sleep to be exact. Okay, so you can plan it that you go to sleep at a certain time and then you wake up at a certain time and you have exactly seven and a half hours of sleep because that's when your sleep cycles end. Okay, eat whole foods, nutritious foods. Uh, be cautious and careful of what you're putting in your body. Try to stay away from processed and packaged foods. Um, it's difficult, I know, but it's not impossible, okay? So use immune boosters, especially this time of the year, this season when there's so much happening, there's so much flus and colds and sicknesses and everything happening. You want to boost your body. You want to give your body what it needs. So great immune boosters are awesome. If you were, I use one, if you're curious of which one I use, I can show you and I can tell you about it. Um, I forgot to use it for a little while and that's why I got sick. Now I started using it again and I can feel myself starting to get better because I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to use Advil and I don't want to use all those pharmaceutical crap and garbage. Sorry, pharmaceuticals. I don't want to use it because I, um, it was kind of reconnecting anyways. And the last one is use good, good vitamins. Vitamins are essential. Again, special this time of the year, very, very essential. Be chances are you're not eating a proper balanced food, nutritional food, and you're not getting the goodness, the vitamins, the nutrients, the amino acids, the whatever else is in the food. <laughs> I can't think right now. But you're not getting enough of that in the food that you consume on a daily basis. Okay, especially if you're eating packaged foods uh, or pre-frozen foods. Too many of them don't have anything in there. So you're just eating, you're just filling your stomach up and you're getting nothing out of it. So take care of yourself, take care of your body and take care of your mind as well. Here are the steps to help you with that. Anyways, I have been going on for a little while and I now got to go and tidy up. <laughs> <laughs> talking about cleaning. So I got to go tidy up really quickly. Um, and that's going to be part of my exercise as well because I'm going to turn music on and I'm going to uh, dance away while I'm cleaning. It was a pleasure talking to all of you guys. And if you find this beneficial and helpful, I'm pretty sure there's going to be other people that can benefit from it as well. So if you could do me a favor and you could pass it along, hit that button below or on the side, wherever it is. I, I don't know. I can't see it. So whatever you see that button that says share, share it with those that might actually benefit from it as well, because let's be honest, you and I are not the only ones that are feeling overwhelmed. There's so many of us out there that truly need to get answers and are hoping for these answers and need these answers. So if you know someone that could benefit from it or you yourself have learned a thing or two, just hit that button, pass it along and let everyone else benefit from it as well. Hey, Sammy, or I know your name, but I'm not gonna say it because <laughs> I don't know if you want me to, but uh, anyways, I am actually leaving. I'm done my chat. I'd love to chat with you as well this week. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some things happening within myself that I am just not familiar with. Um, and I'd love your insight. Actually, I'm going to message you afterwards. And I love your insight on what you think it might be. Uh, somebody told me what it might be. But anyways, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll leave that for our chat after. Have a great, great, great day, guys. Happy hump day. 
and I will see you all next week. I'll try to stay consistent and come on live on Wednesdays. If you guys want me to come on live more often, let me know. And if you have any other questions or you need help with something, let me know and I will help you out as best that I can. Okay. So anyways, have a great, great day and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.